Hey everyone, this is Vicki at Messy Table Studio here with yet another Carve December episode. I don't know. Alright, so I was sitting and watching TV and I was thinking, looking, whoops, looking around the room, trying to think of things that I might like to use for uh, background stamps. And I decide on the holly with the berries because I still have to work on my Christmas book. I have been so consumed with computer issues and scanner issues, well, printer, and all these other things that, you know, I just didn't think about things for the Christmas book. So I want to use this maybe for pattern paper for the Christmas book. So I drew out the holly with the berries. And I'm trying to think of how I can make this work on here without using extra rubber. Might not be able to. Well, maybe. We'll give it a shot. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let me let me go over here and just do this and get it done. Alright, so I'm just going to put it over here on the corner. Give it a rub, as usual. Then I'm going to go back over it with... Um, a pen or a Posca or something so I know where I need to carve. Okay, so let us see what we can do about cutting this out. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Maybe just... Oh. Let me just cut it this way. Let me line this up on the bottom here. And to go through, yep. might be time to change the blade. <clears throat> All right, so line this up here. And then kind of, let me scoot this down this way. I'm using these as my guide to try to make some kind of a straight mark. Maybe just a little bit further this way. Okay. I don't want to get too close to the edge here, so let me move this this way. Okay. I know I'm going to trim some of this rubber off of here. See, now i got a nice piece to do something else with later. And I'll carve around this. And then um, I'll cut away what I don't need later. There you go. Sorry, it's uh, 10 after 5 in the morning, so <laughs> let me get my stuff. Okay, so just for grins and giggles, because this is Christmas, and it's supposed to be fun, I'm going to outline my stuff with the appropriate colored markers. Just because it gives me something to look at while I carve. <laughs> Let me color this in solid. Maybe that would be better. Yeah, I don't need that little mark in the middle. We'll take care of that later. That's a detail that can be put in at the end. And it gives you guys something to look at besides black and pink. It's going to take a second for this to dry, so I'll put this stuff away. And let's see. I need the, let's see, what, these go in order. There's a, a number nine, which is a one millimeter. Um, another number nine, which means they're the same shape. Oh, they're scooped and they're 1.5 millimeter. Then there's the wider half circle scoop, which is a number five and it's 2.5. And then there's an absolute V, which is 45 degree and it's a one millimeter. 
how I are looking at these things. I know my I guess are not as good as they used to be, but it is so hard to tell you what's what. So the big one must be the this is the scoopy one. Yes, it is, which is the 2.5. So that's the big one. I need to write this on the handle so I know. Okay, and the next one up is kind of bigger than that. So this is the 1.5, which is also a roundy scoopy. Then we have another roundy scoopy. Let's see, is that a roundy scoopy or is that a V? It's hard to tell in this light. I, this is a roundy scoopy. And then this one is the... <laughs> I think this one's the V cut, although it's hard to see. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Not only is it 5.30 in the morning, but my eyes are going. Okay, so let's try... I guess we can try this one. All right, so like I learned in Julie's class, you need to carve away from what it is you're creating. So let's try to follow the principles that we paid money to learn. <laughs> and then you can do clean up later. I think the majority of this rubber will be trimmed off. So it's okay that it's going out. You really ought to buy Julie's book. Her book explains a ton of things. Although the classes, I have to tell you, were re the class was really good on how to carve. Although <laughs> I probably forgot. Learned more than... Well, I've forgotten a lot, let's put it that way. Because <laughs> I haven't been doing any carving. Ooh. All right, cut out. Come on, I know I carved. Where are you? Oh, well. I'll get you later. Well, maybe not. Come on, get this one out. Tweezers here. Well, boogers. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to fast forward through this.
Okay, so I trimmed up as close as I could get most of them, although after I stamp this, I might do just one last trim to see how it goes. These different shape tools really do come in handy. And there's some blades in the power grip. Eh. Let's see, so it's this one that needs to be trimmed off. I can make that tip sharper by doing this. Let's see how that looks. Yep, okay. Uh, where else do I need to take a little whack? My berries look a little nondescript, but no. That'll be okay. I need another smaller tool to get into that tight space there. I think this one will do it. Oh, yep, this one's a little smaller. These things are really sharp, and I'm glad they are, but I have tab myself a couple times. <laughs> Let's do here, but I think maybe we need the larger one for this one. And I see I need a little bit. I'm not going to go in with the big tool here. I just need to get some of the rubber away from the edge. All right, maybe that'll do it. really dark. Okay, let me wipe this off. I still have the Posca underneath the rubber. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up just a tad. Dry it off. See if we can get a nicer stamp. I don't know. We shall see. Well, that went right through to the back side of paper. Looks like a bat. <laughs> okay, now for the teeny weeny details. So we need this through there and this through there. So that helps. And then let me look at my paper. That's my guide. Let me cover this up. There's that and that. And then I need to do. Just a wee touch up on the berries. And then we need the difference in the stuff here. So, started at the second berry. So, let's go this way. And then pull backwards. And then go this way. this way. Okay, let's see if this works. Well, oh, we made a cut here that's not going to make it. My tip on this one's not, it's falling apart. So I may have to make an adjustment I like the way the tip looks, but look, it's already going away. So let me pull it away. And to compensate for that, I might carve this one a little closer there to make that more sharpie looking. There you go. Okay. All right, now let me do this in the black ink just to be sure. Ooh, get it open. Oh, 
All right, I'm running out of paper here. Let me get something else. Will that fit on this? These are all off-cut strips, and I'm using them just for this so I don't waste a big sheet of paper. Voila! We got it. Now to jelly.
Okay, so I think my last print and this print right here are my two favorite prints. This one is not quite dark enough. This one definitely is not dark enough, but it does look a little vintage. But this one I think is the best of the group. So there we are with um, Holly and Barry for the Christmas holiday. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.